Evening YouTubers. So this video is a little bit of a jumble of stuff as you can see that I've acquired over the last couple of months and some of the items here I will be doing a individual video on. So where to start? I guess let's start bottom left. So this uh, heap of junk here is it's a Volvo T10 Turbo, made by Siku, and it's been uh, attached to a different scale set of wheels here, chassis. And there is a reason I bought it, which is this thing over here. So this is another Siku product, and quite a cool one, if I may say. It's got a uh, hydraulic crane attached on the rear and it's missing a cab. I thought this Volvo cab could actually pop on here quite well. The Volvo cab is the same scale as the second one. So you get the idea. I think they will go quite well together. So I paid for the uh, German crane lorry a pound and it was a pound for the, the rest of the junk. So in a later video, I'll uh, go through the motions of taking these apart and putting them together. And the BMW X6 is uh, also a, actually that's a major rep product, one to 64 scale. And I'm just showing it as sort of scale comparison the Sikus are a 155 scale, but they are so close to 164 scale and they're so beautifully made. I think they blend quite well with the 164 stuff that I collect. Next up is this uh, VW campervan or minibus, which came with this really cool Siku caravan. So they're both Siku products and I think they are quite an item together. Like a lot of uh, vintage die cast, these are really nice products. They've got metal bases and they're really heavy. This caravan has an opening door and it has quite a nice red interior. Enclosed gas bottles on the front. Is the base. Really nice mint condition. Bought this off eBay. Quite reasonable. It's kind of sitting lower at the back. The rear door's open. And the runners in there on the floor. Um, I've seen in an ambulance version that it was for a patient's bed to slide in and out. Not sure what feature would have been on this one. What I like about the Sikus are the nice metallic colours that they use. So it says on the base here, if I'm reading correctly, uh, Kasten Wagen with a K, Kasten Wagen. I hope I'm reading that right. And on the um, lower down it says made in West Germany. So there's a bit of history for you. Pre-Berlin Wall, 1989. And I got this green light caravan out from my collection, just sort of a size comparison. They are uh, pretty much same scale, same width and green light states that they're 164 scale. A couple of other Siku items. Now I purchased these two off eBay, um, not knowing completely what the scale of them was. And um, I mean, they're really lovely models, but uh, 
know, they're a little bit big if you're a 164 scale collector. So there is a 164 scale. So is that possible for 164 scale? I don't know. Probably not. Um, this one has uh, opening doors at the front and also at the rear. Full of seats. Rettungswagen side opening door and rear as well if you make out the patient bed in there which slides in and out I collected quite a bit of Siku in my childhood so I became quite well acquainted with this brand and over here is a really cool Siku Wrecker breakdown truck. Now this is scale 1 to 55, but um, I've compared it with uh, some of my 164 scale trucks and the track is the same, the width is the same. Uh, this might be a fraction taller. Pretty much the only breakdown truck wrecker in my collection. These are pretty hard to come by in general. Not many manufacturers make these. There are quite a few uh, premium high-end versions which are going to be serious money um, but the CQ one which I found on eBay was um, really quite good value. This is awesome. Opening features are the bonnet, nice interior And um, the only thing I guess that could have been better on this is the crane at the back is it looks like it's sort of fairly cheap unpainted grey plastic. That's my only criticism. And there is a majorette Jaguar E type just for size comparison. I'll be making a uh, separate video on this. The reason I got these um, couple of Sikus in this video is that uh, the one nearest the camera I've had for quite a while and the one in the background uh, which has a sleeper unit attached to it I um, got from a uh, classic car fair and paid, I know it's junk but I paid around about £5 for, for this and uh, it's accompanying trailer. So uh, it's got opening features with the metal engine in it and what I might do, because this one in the foreground is better condition, I might uh, use the sleeper cab and place it on this one here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this uh, Siku was part of a set where it uh, was carrying a bridge kit. It was absolutely gigantic. Um, and there would have been a connecting rod between these two. It would have been about half a metre in length. But the width of these ones are closer to 164 scale trucks, which I have. So they, they blend in quite well. Albeit this part of it is quite a bit wider. We'll take a look at this red Land Rover. This is around 143 scale. I don't normally collect this scale. This was given to me as a gift when we were in Poland. And what I can say about it is that it's beautifully detailed and quite true to the real vehicle. This was given to me by Jacek and Kasia, which are good friends of my wife. Thank you, guys. Okay, so we're taking a breather here. Just got a few pieces left. Look at that 
awesome low bed in the distance. We'll come on to that later. Toyota 2000 GT by Majorette. This is quite a nice model. Opening hood, as you can see. And here is um, Hot Wheels' version. And I couldn't help comparing it with the Jaguar E-Type. No doubt these two models have been compared in the past. They have quite a, uh, not a dissimilar profile. The E-Type here is made by Majorette. I'm not always one for monster trucks, but from time to time there's always one that wins me over. And this one does just that. This is just uh, awesomely cool. And what's more is it's a really decent scale. So if I get a uh, Hot Wheels Dodge Charger next to it, you can appreciate that. This is a real van size you know, bigger than a car scale. What's more is that this has an opening feature. It's called the glaze machine. And I guess you can buy donuts from it. Awesome graphics. So this will be a separate video or a video short. And um, when you open that, you've got a menu of different fried items that you can buy. I've done a video short on these two caravans uh, in the past. Um, the one on the right is a green light and a uh, major out on the left. And they're quite interesting to compare with one another. They're both Airstreams. There's a lot more detail on the green light in terms of casting details with the rivets. But um, I guess Majorette is uh, either a modern interpretation of it or um, there may well be a an Airstream, modern version of the Airstream, looking like the Majorette does. Either way, they're both pretty cool. Majorette has a plus point over the green light because the side door opens. Both very nice models. No gas bottles on the Majorette's one. Majorette Porsche Panamera. Not too impressed with it actually. It's a little bit on the narrow side, the casting. It should be wider because the Panamera is a wide vehicle. And then behind it we've got uh, Audi e-tron. It's got quite interesting graphics. Opening features, opening doors and Majorettes always have really nice interiors. I finally got hold of a black Majorette new shape Defender and it's a nice, nice to compare with the Hot Wheels traditional Defender. The new Defender is a little bit longer and sits lower. I know the Hot Wheels one has had a, a little lift on it, but even so the new Defenders do sit, they're not quite as high as the old ones. This is a really lovely Porsche 917 from Le Mans, and with a really cool opening feature. The one behind it is a uh, Hot Wheels 917 as well. And this premium Hot Wheels version is a 962. And then in the packaging here we have another Majorette 917. Love those colours. Quite nice to compare. In the box we have Majorette's offering of the Dodge Challenger and boy is that cool. They've got it spot on. 
um, particularly the scale, so it's 164 scale, slightly bigger than the Hot Wheels Challenger, which uh, on reflection now I think is probably near a 168 scale. Let's get this baby out of the packaging. The Majorette is actually 166 scale. It is slightly longer and slightly wider. But check out that interior. And that paint scheme. So this for me is ultra cool. All the parts of this low loader were purchased separately. I found the cab on eBay, paid £10 for that, and the low loader for around about £13. This is 155 scale. It is seriously long. And it's carrying a uh, CAT 385C made by Norscott, die cast, 164 scale. And I just thought this low loader is perfect to carry this cat. There is even space for the shovel. The hood opens on this. This Siku low loader is part of a set. It's usually sold with a NASA space shuttle in a similar 155 scale, which is accordingly massive. The space shuttle is, um, from what I understand, is made all of plastic, there's no die cast. It does, mind you, look quite realistic. But if you want to buy the entire set with the shuttle, there's currently three on eBay in the UK at the moment, ranging from £100 to 150 And I just thought, I don't have space in my collection for the shuttle. And since it's plastic, I'm not losing out on much. So this way, I managed to procure the low bed trailer with the matching cab. This brings us to the end of this video. Hope you've enjoyed watching this eclectic collection of diecast. Happy hunting. Next weekend I'm off to Sandown Park Toy Fair just south of London and you could arguably say it's one of the world's biggest toy fairs. It is absolutely massive. So we're going with a group of friends and I will let you know what I find there. Take care, happy hunting and see you soon.